Hi everyone, it's Angie. I wanted to jump on here real quick and show you a project that I just finished. I made a snippet roll um, to go along with, to, to go into a journal that I'm going to work on and I coordinated it with this fabric. Um, this is what the outside of the journal is going to be made from and um, it's going to have a garden theme and this may be a band across here, I don't know. Uh, but I really like those together. But that's that's kind of why I went with this color scheme was because I, I want to use this um, snippet in the journal. My intent was to um, to cut it at different places, and I'll show you real quick. But I want to show you the base of this uh, snippet roll is this old quilt that I've got right here. So I just cut it. I'm going to show you this pin here in a minute. I just cut it. Um, and I cut it pretty wide <clears throat> simply because I want it to go in the journal and I want it to be pretty prominent on the pages. You can see that I've just strategically placed pins here where I intend on cutting it. So when I was doing the layout on this, you know, I, I think about where I wanted to cut it and kind of, you know, leave buttons off of that area or whatever. Um, but I want to go through here and show you some of the elements in this real quick. Um, you know, I've, I've watched people make snippet rolls for a long time, and, and I've, I've made a couple, but haven't really, um, haven't really gotten into that a whole lot, and I don't know why, because I love, you know, I love the whole concept, but, so this one is, this one is kind of special to me, because it, it's really what I consider my first snippet roll, um, so I want to show you some of the elements in it, uh, tea bag, you know, I, you know how I am about my tea bags, I love my tea bags, um, pieces of upholstery. This is pieces of that wedding dress that I'm still have tons of stuff left from. Um, pieces of tapestry, and I love paper, uh, printed paper. So I, I put a piece of that on there. Um, I love that square button in the center of that flower. I thought that was so pretty. And just uh, stamped a stamped image there. Um, another stamped image. I love this stamp, and I got that at Goodwill. And I, I tell you, I, I really made a, a good find the other day with stamps. Um, this is interesting. This is uh, another piece of the rayon fabric that you use to burn the edges on to uh, make hair bows. And I love the way this looks. It almost gives me the you know impression of a butterfly when you tie that twine in the middle, and that's just baker's twine that I tied in the middle of that. Um, and just, of course, you know, your typical snippets. Some of this is sewn. Um, I started out sewing the bulk of it on, and then some of it is just glued on. But I just loved the way it turned out, and I'm glad I got off the sidelines because I'm not one to sit and watch other people do things and I, I'm watching all these people make these snippet rolls and I'm like okay all right I gotta jump in here and do one of these so I just uh, there's another one of those butterflies isn't that cute another tea bag I just really am pleased with the way that it has turned out So, I'm anxious now to get the journal done so that I can cut it up, if I can bring myself to do that. I, I think I can. I think I can. Cause I, I can always make another one of these. But I do think that it's going to be a very um, rich addition to this journal. I think it's, I think it's going to be really pretty. And I will show you that when I get it done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks. Bye.